Hi everyone, Michael Teal with Presentation Plus Ups here with your weekly tip in this one. This one is near and dear to my heart. Today's tip is about creating a silky smooth transition for your slides, for your animations, and doing it with screen share. I mean, if you think about it, that's what it's all about is restoring this clarity to your transitions and animations so you can really have a presentation that pops, reflects well on you, and more importantly, helps connect visually with your audience. So let's get started. Right now I have a guest, which is myself in Zoom. So let's look at how we can create a silky smooth screen share. Now the tip is really this. What we need to do is when we screen share, we do not want to screen share our slide deck, all right? What we want to do is screen share our OBS Studio projection, which is your third screen. So this is something, if, you, if this is new to you, go check out my original videos on OBS Studio in crazy detail. But you want to screen share your OBS Studio and then screen share your PowerPoint through that. So we're going to loop this into OBS Studio up there and screen share that and that's going to give you that's going to give you a silky smooth transition let me show you how though so that's the important part here's the situation and here's how this works what we want to do and i'll go ahead and just switch us on over here what we want to do in zoom we want to go ahead and do share screen and we are going to we're going to select optimize for video that's important go ahead and click share sound as well that's fine but what I'm not going to do is select share screen. Instead, what I'm going to select is the screen that I'm currently sharing my OBS studio through that I'm projecting it, okay? And I'm gonna show you why this gets us really silky screen shares. All right, so right now we are screen sharing and I'm gonna prove that here by showing you that right now we are up here and you can see that we're screen sharing. I'm trying to get this <laughs> where we don't have too much light hitting it. And right now what I'll do is I'm just gonna go ahead and screen share my slides, okay? So you can get a little feel of what's going on. And so you can see my slides are small right here. Um, if I went ahead and did a full screen share of my slides, you're not going to see the iPhone. So bear with me on that. So I've got this right here. I'm gonna keep this set up. I'm gonna keep it out of the light as much as I can. I'm just gonna pump through some of these slides here and let you see what it looks like. So if you look at that little thumbnail right now, they're looking great. And by the way, if I went to the, the big screen, it's gonna look just as good. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and kick through a few of these and let you see that, uh, yeah, this, these slides are gonna look that good when we're over here on the screen share as well. So I'll go ahead and just cruise through a few of those. These are some nicely animated slides. You can see See basic animations are working good. They're appearing well. Now let's look at why this is and why when we project that screen, again, that screen right there, why we get that silky smooth effect. There's some science to this. And it's important that you appreciate it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to go here into my little zoom panel. Remember whenever you screen share, you get this little floating bar. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this fly out. I'm gonna go down to video settings so you can look behind the scenes of zoom and see what's going on and why we're getting this silky smooth feel, okay? So when we're at our settings panel, I'm gonna go down to statistics and click on screen sharing over here, up here in this tab. This will explain why we're getting the nice slide animations and transitions because number one, when you screen share and you select optimize for video, it's going to number one, look for video content when it sees and feels it, it's gonna kick up these frames per second into that 30 frames per second range, 28, 25, 30 frames per second. That gets you that nice smooth video feel, all right? That's giving you the, the good look, the good feel on that end, all right? Now contrast that if I just screen share my traditional PowerPoint. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna screen share this. I will click optimize for video and look at the difference in the frame per second. Okay, so let's do that. All righty, let's stop the screen share. Let's go ahead and do it again. This time I will 
select my actual PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to retain optimize for video and share sound. And we are indeed screen sharing that content. Hopefully you can see that right here on this screen is that we are screen sharing a PowerPoint, right? We're not screen sharing our OBS mix. So while we're doing that, what I'd like to do here is just uh, kick over and show you in terms of the, the overall content that, yeah, if we look at this the statistics screen, you're gonna see we're at one frame per second, okay? One frame per second is a problem because what we're going to get when we, when we have this content kick up, so for example, I'm gonna show it to you right now, is we're going to have some really slow content. Matter of fact, let me see if I just go right to my face cam here, and you can see this is the PowerPoint deck, it's being shared. Let's go ahead and cruise through some of these slides, and you're gonna see at one frame per second, it's like a Charlie Chaplin movie or an old talkie movie. It's just nothing smooth is happening. One, they're going slow. So I'll hit I'll hit these a few times and I'll let you peek behind the, the, uh, the camera. But you can see it's not silky smooth. You're losing. It's very stilted, not smooth at all. So here's even that big, beautiful uh, morph transition. It's fighting. It's fighting. We're at five frames per second. I'll go ahead and repeat that mix over here and uh, bring over my left screen once again. And you're gonna notice that, yeah, we're at two frames per second. I'll just cut through some of these slides and you're not getting it. So to recap, when we screen share our OBS full screen projection, we cheat and hack Zoom and Teams so they think it's a video if we've optimized for video it's gonna buffer up and give you 25, 30 frames per second to give you that ability to have the smooth, smooth transitions. And I think that's that's really the key point of this whole element. So to recap for those that have not seen it and they go, wow, I like this idea of this OBS studio. How do you project up there? Let me just show you real quick for those that are going great. I've got my tip for the day. We'll see you later. For those that wanna hang around for a little bonus content, I'll do with that. So let me just go ahead and I'm gonna stop this screen share so you'll see that this will go away. We're just back to a normal camera. And let's kick us back over here to our left screen. And what we wanna do is if you have your projection, whether you're in studio mode, if you're in studio mode, what you wanna do is project your program. And don't be misled right now, we're, we're looking at my left screen so I can record this, but typically you would have some content that looks you know, more like either just a straight up uh, full full on program. So if you are in studio mode, you would see program and preview. And what you can do is you can right click and do full screen projector and pick whatever screen is the one that you're going to project to. It needs to be a screen you're not doing anything else with. Think of it as just a good old fashioned you drop down a projector screen in, in the olden days when you'd be at a uh, Knights Inn or, a, you know, a La Quinta or something doing a, a timeshare seminar. So you would go ahead and do full screen projector, go pick the screen that you want in your business. Now, if you do not have studio mode open and you're just rocking kind of like I was, whatever you're seeing here is your program. That's what's being sent out. So same thing, pick the light gray area, right click and do pick full screen projector and pick your screen, okay? That's how you do it. So once you've done that, then you can go ahead and uh, yeah, put anything you want to onto that screen, right? So at this point, if you wanted to go ahead and project your slide content, as you can see right now, we've got the slide content rock and rolling and we can really cruise through this fast and it's gonna just retain all the goodness, right? All that goodness. I'll back it up here so you can see. We're gonna get all that smooth, smooth goodness because our frames per second are up once we screen share. So. It's a big win. Hopefully that's something you find valuable. I rely on this every day to up-level my presentations. Whenever I need to show something, I don't care whether it's with a client, an internal meeting, I project that OBS screen and it changes the game. Not to mention all the other things, the ability to seamlessly queue up a video, to play music, any of that kind of stuff. We got that ability here but it really starts with that engine. That's the key. That's how you get the silky smooth transitions. I'd like to thank you all so much for being a part of this here. Hopefully this was valuable for you. If you like this, it would mean a lot if you'd subscribe. Please share this. Um, also post your comments below. If there's something that you have a challenge with, I wanna hear about it. Let me know and we can figure it out together and hopefully I can learn something from you as well. So in the meantime, thanks so much for tuning in and make it a great day.